I'm Jerry Logan out of uh, Hillsboro, Oregon. I've had a dream to do a lead sled type car. A uh, 60 Cadillac is right in that realm. Good to see you, Jerry. Good to see you. Wow, I'm glad to finally get to see it in yeah, person. Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow. I think it's chopped a little bit more than I was looking for. I can't even sit up in it. <laughs> Proportionately, I think we can probably make that work. Yeah. It's pretty cool, actually, when you just stand back and look at it, the sheer size of the car. What I would like Dave to do for this car is to make it a complete show winner, not just in class. That's one thing I'd like to change. Got any thoughts? I got a couple of thoughts, really. Definitely doing a new motor and transmission in this thing, get a little bit more horsepower, because these are kind of dogs. Yeah. I'd say let's throw a GM crate motor or something really cool in it, maybe fuel injected so you don't have to worry about it. A car like this is going to need a massive motor, something big, fast, and awesome. I want it low. OK. Really low. You know the story about it's not low enough if it doesn't scrape. <laughs> yeah. So low that it scrapes, that's my specialty. The way that these things drive, they drive like a big marshmallow. Yeah. And maybe what we ought to do is maybe look into doing a chassis in the long run. A lot of times, bang for the buck, it's money well spent. A new chassis and a new engine, this thing's going to have wings. No need for anyone to take out the back seat and climb through this little baby hole. I'm here. I'll save the day. I just opened it. We just opened it yesterday. I don't know what is going on, but it is straight stiff. Oh, you're going to break it. Dude, that's a bad attitude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't care how long it takes. I'll get it open. Oh. And done. What do you guys want, the keys? My work here is done. The teardown's going to continue to go on. I have other fires to put out. Hey, so what do you think, Chris? I think whoever ran that pump bob needs a race. Yeah, that's true. We're going to have to discuss that. The body fits on the chassis perfectly. For the record, there'll be no discussion of raises. This guy's only three and a half foot tall, right? <laughs> It'll be cool. You just lay back. We'll just have to get, like, big leather comforters in here. Yeah? No. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The progress on the Cadillac has been killer. This next step is going to be even more killer, and not just because of the bullets. The air cleaner system is going to come up through the hood. This is kind of a mock-up of the grill section that is about the same as the front grill. And we'll get air coming down through there and then into the intake. Jordan first needs to get the airbox sized, positioned, and then he can go and make a template to cut the hood. You don't ever see a Cadillac with hood scoops. This should be pretty cool. There's a lot of little tweaking here and there, but it's starting to take the shape that I want it to. So. I'm really stoked. It's going to be super cool. We don't very often poke stuff out of the hood. You can pull it off, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? He's just got to map it out a little bit. Cut the holes. Just another custom thing. Get the grills in there so they're poking out all cool. Ta-da. Hey, I like that. So Jordan really nailed this uh, air box we built. Air box that he built. Air box that we designed, that I designed, that he built, what, whatever. Hey, close it again. Hey, oh, OK. Do it, do it, a couple times. Yeah, that's way cool. So Jordan's got this air box locked down. So now we can move on to the hood. Let Chris do the flange work for the scoops. 
All we're trying to do is just make a finished edge to these holes that Jordan carved in here. It's not quite there. Now it's just a matter of taking the rivet gun and just folding that edge right over that bottom form, just like this. We'd like to get it all trimmed in and tacked in, and everything fits perfectly and lays right down on the hood. Perfectly can be somewhat of a relative term around here, especially when some people are involved. Is this everything that you ever dreamed of in your imagination? Hmm. In my imagination. Hmm. 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 Looking at it from here, it looks like it could be a little bigger. <laughs> hmm. Right this here, looks great. like a case of the Zackleys. Exactly Me like. It's exactly how you told me to build it. Eh. Actually, it is what it has to be mm -hmm. because of the bullets and that. As long as it makes sense for you, I'm good. I think it's perfect. What did you say? You think it's what? Pretty good. That's not what you said. What did you do here? You said perfect. I'm extremely excited. A good friend of ours, Jerry Logan, is coming down to check out his 1960 Chop Top Cadillac progress. I haven't been here for a while. Yeah, it's been almost a year. So there's months and months of work right there. Whoa. What do you think of that? That's down in the weeds. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, will the wheels be out further? Much further. Yeah. I thought these might be a little fatter, mm -hmm. but you're Fantastic. gonna do some copper in there, right? These aren't the rims. The hood, the trunk, how the top is looking, just a few of those mods that I'm really gonna focus on. I don't like those. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Last time I had an exam like this, I felt a little, you know, never mind. <laughs> well, I know that's an awful lot of customizing to take in, but I mean, what do you think so far? True custom. True blue custom. Thanks. Long, low, ready Not to early. roll. Yeah. <laughs> I got to write that stuff down, Jerry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're right on stream of what this car could be and should be. Different is what makes a custom. Well, that's right. Yeah. Yep. This is definitely different. I can hardly wait to see the paint on it, because I think that's going to make the car. Well, that's next for us.